And I'm standing here with Barbara, who is Roman's Furs, Leather and Furs, um, here at the uh, One of a Kind gift show. And, of course, the show ends December 4th, 2016. It's at the Metro Toronto Convention Center. Now, Barbara specializes in leather and furs, and they are absolutely stunning. In fact, this is one of her pieces. Barbara, welcome to Jeanette Time, Every Woman TV. Thank you. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the fact that fur hmm. and leather has, some, in some cases for women, uh, been replaced by faux fur. But in other cases, it's making a huge comeback. Why do you think women are always going to love fur or faux fur, but even the real stuff? Well, it's very luxurious. It's very feminine. And uh, really, Canada is a country called country, you know, so uh, it feels wonderful, it's very warm, and it's very feminine looking, and uh, the faux fur is, that's artificial fibers, you know, I don't think it's staticky, it's not really event environmentally friendly, that's what I think, you know, the skins, most of the skins are really, uh, you know, recycled, there are with the meat, we, you know, so why not use the skins, right? Okay, so what do you have to say about uh, people who, you know, like groups like PETA, uh, who feel that, you know, animals are not killed humanely mm -hmm. for the first skins. Um, can you elaborate on that? Well, I think everyone can have their own opinion. Where we can wear it, we can not wear it. To me, of course, the animals should be killed humanely. That I would, you know, I would be against something like uh, the chickens or the pigs, like they gather them together and, and really just kill them and, and in a... Bad. Slaughter them. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Uh, even the f uh, farms, the animals are free outside. They're, they're, you know, they're in the big cages, but they're outside. They are not fed to be killed for the meat you know I I see it differently I okay so now let's say you and I both enjoy wearing fur there are lots of other women who do also enjoy the glamorous side of it what do we need to look for when choosing a fur coat for ourselves what are some of the considerations that go into it uh, well I would think if you don't want to wear a wild animal caught in a wild or farmed only for the fur, then you choose like a sheepskin that also looks fabulous. And sheepskin, actually, the Tuscan sheepskin looks almost like fox. There is a coat here that, Let, you let's know... Let's see some of your coats. Everybody see looks at, uh, well, this one, let's say. And pull it, okay. can, let's pull so it right off the rack. This is, yeah, this is on the inside, so everybody says, oh my God, is it a fox? Well, no. This is Tuscan sheepskin, and it's sheepskin, which we, of course, eat, right? We, we eat the meat, and uh, it also feels luxurious, it, it's very warm. It's so gorgeous. that's a choice that uh, women would wear. And of course, for women that don't want to wear a cheetah or, you know, other cats, there is this. Yes. Okay, let's see that. Yes. Let's see that. Okay. See, the, this is right up my alley. I could right. walk away with this right now. And you see this? That's printed on it. This is, again, that's sheepskin. This is sheepskin. Oh, so that sheep is not fur. Yes, exactly. And it's printed on to look like a wild animal. So there are options for everybody who, you know, There's wants to There's another option, actually. I just wanted to point out that this is actually leather. Yes. Look at the cut Absolutely. work on that. That's Absolutely. Leather. Yes. Cut work leather yes. mixed with just a small little bit of fur. What is yes. this, fox? This is, no, this is actually coyote, dyed black. Dyed black, it's too many of them. So there is a lot of coyote fur. Yes, and they also cause problems, coyote. Exactly. That's why they're... They kill other little animals. Yes, that's why they're really available, the skins. And this is rabbit. This here is rabbit. Okay. So that's again a choice that a woman would make. Now, tell me, how long does it take for you to put one of these coats together? Uh, it depends which one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this, I can make in two days. Uh -huh. Okay, this, about a week. 
but there is code here. Yeah, the code there, yes, yes. This. Okay. That's Something like that. That's yeah. another coat, which has removable sleeves with oh, zippers. Look at that. You can wear it as a vest. Too. Yes, and really, it has to be the symmetry, and the you know, and that takes me two weeks to okay. put together. So I can make a coat that's also gorgeous in one day or two weeks. All right. So now tell us, how can we? First of all, where are you located? London, Ontario. My, I went and lived there for three and a half and bit years. I am a graduate of the University of Western Ontario. And so London, Ontario, it's not that far. But you ship all over the world, right? Yes. We ship to States. We ship to Vancouver. We have customers in Timmins. Everywhere where it's called or people like, like to wear the luxury. All right. And now we are getting a little close to Christmas. Mm. So if we don't make it for the deadline, and you know, you, there's that lady in your life that absolutely would love one of these, yeah. but you could get it after Christmas too, right? Because you, you can still fulfill orders all year long. Absolutely, right? yes. We have a boutique, so I do a lot of custom work. So that's all year long. All right, and do you do any online sales? Uh, not yet, but it's probably coming in the spring. I already talked to my husband about that. Okay. It's me and my husband that we're in this business. So we're going to do probably the uh, accessories, the fur accessories online. Now, one last question. How did you get to be in the fur business? Oh, really? The, my customers made me to do it. Oh, I had really? this business for 33 years. Uh -huh. I started with leather. I was making leather. Then, you know, came the... Uh, sheepskin so I started making sheepskin coats and jackets and everything and then my customers actually uh, you know said oh my god I have an old fur and I can't wear it anymore because it's old-fashioned can you do it I said no I don't do that you have to do it you have to do it so they just wanted the fashion coat they just didn't want it made in the fur year because they are more conservative. I make, I put a fur, there is a jacket here also that you can see. So okay, show us that, that you actually use refurbished fur, right? Refurbished fur, meaning people already had fur coats, either from themselves or their grandmothers or whatever, and she took the fur skins and, and reused it. This is uh, uh, sheared beaver, and this is me. Right? Okay, pull it off the rack, please. Yeah, so we put together with leather, with a little bit of sparkies, of, of course, for women, we uh -huh. like some spark, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. So it can be made, it has a belt and the, uh, a buckle at the front. So it's just a different style. So That is I, very nice, actually. Yeah. So <sighs> we make uh, just a little bit different styles from, from their own coats. And now I'm making new fur coats. Okay, see, so that wouldn't be the first business that spawned from listening to customer demand. Yes, oh, absolutely. It's yes. called niche marketing, and if you're a woman in business, you're giving us a great business lesson. All right, yes. now, in closing, where can we reach you? Give me, I'd like the website, please. Oh, my God, you think I remember? You don't know your website address? Ah, isn't this awful? Can I have my business card take and say it? <laughs> well, <laughs> you it's see, Roman's yeah, first. Okay, we have to Roman's go get your business leather. card. Roman's okay. leathers. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is okay, really Roman's, uh, Roman's leather at gmail.com. Isn't this easy to remember? Yes, and, could, and your website is www.romanleather.com. Romans Leather, R-O-M-N-A-S, Leather, L-E-H-L-E-A-T-H-E-R.com, Romans Leather. Yeah. And you're <laughs> just in London, Ontario, but she's in Toronto for another couple days. If you want to come down to the, to the one-of-a-kind show to meet her. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. It was my pleasure. This is Jeanette Burke signing off. Please remember to like, comment, and share all our posts on Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Tumblr, Vimeo, YouTube. Instagram, you name it, we're there. Hashtag Jeanette Time Every Woman TV. And until next time, continue to be fabulous.